So, I changed this water just like two days ago, but I see that telltale yellowy green tint that usually means somebody took a dump in it or peed in it, whatever. So I'm going to do a water change in my new habitat, my Harudo Narium, Narium as I call them. Got a new cam. Uh, I'm liking it a lot. Oh. Well, first thing is, I think I want to get the leeches out. There should be seven leeches in there. And, you know, so I can do something different with the rocks and stuff. Uh, I'm going to get a little bit of dechlorinated tap water here. Put it in that. Temporary jar. Oh, I need to get my colander ready too. So I have moss drying in there that I rinsed out for my a dirty water change. Now I'm letting it dry again. But I don't want to risk losing a leech down the drain. I guess it might be smart to put a drain plug in. Just not tight, so the water will still drain through. It's just if a leech happens to get free, it might, just might, not go all the way. Do a flyby here. Uh, the Harudonarium. Uh, uh, I don't know if it's tilted enough down. Kind of like, oh, there's the snail, resident snail for the leeches to have for a bit. And here's probably the culprit since he's been banished. Uh, go down in the habitat, baby. There you go, or in the jar. Oh. I was wrong, there's not seven in this habitat. There are four. Uh, this is group A. Uh, so there's two out of four. Let's get some moss out of here. Uh, sometimes they like to hide under that moss. Uh, Let's see. Two leeches to find. Uh, 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 let's see. I think we see one right there. Maybe that's just moss. No, that's a leech. Come on, Paco. 
I'm keeping an eye on them in the water there in case somebody tries to escape. Leech, stay down there. No, 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 stay. Oh, I see movement in the water. There's our leech. Are you doing new to get in there? Okay. Put this lid on and put them in that just in case someone forces the lid up. I know I'm being paranoid. Okay, so they're hanging out in there. I am going to Oops, sorry guys put this over <laughs> put it over somewhere actually let's just put them there Put the moss uh, in a temporary jar. Uh, I'll squeeze some of the shit out of it. Leeches are like, what the fuck? Where's our nice quarters? Stuck in this damn jar. I know there's no, there's no leeches left that I could be missing. We accounted for all four. But it's just to uh, be a good practice to anything that goes out of the uh, habitats goes to the colander in case something alive is being sneaky and trying to escape okay so let's rinse this off now the nasty water that to the side, hold up the habitat, so this is a uh, Canogan Gold, this is actually a jar I got in Washington State that uh, they sell marijuana bugs in and stuff, I didn't buy it, but I got it. And I like it. I'm gonna fill it with the gravel. So I'll still have the ramp. Or the raised bed. get buried in it but they can still wiggle in around between the jars and stuff I'm gonna have two of them
Harood over Bana. Such a lovely leech. Harood over Bana. I love them one and each. Heidi rocks. This is a piece from a pottery class my daughter took in college. And it was kind of okay, but it's got busted up over the years. So I'm using it in my le leech habitat. So leeches kind of like to squiggle down through there and sit in there like it's a hot tub and stuff. If there's a little water. some of this dried out moss that I had recycled from an earlier water change, bedding change. I squeezed it out, rinsed it, squeezed it out some more, and then dried it uh, over my my this my air still uh, I used to make distilled water so even though I've got a total crap load of sphagnum moss left back there I am Trying to be conservative and cost, uh, you know, um, effective by recycling the materials when I can. So for my water supply, this is a six gallon mash jug, like when you make a wine or moonshine, you would mix it up in there. And I fill it with tap water and let it sit at least two days before I use it for my um, hat water changes and stuff. So it stays pretty full, you know, after I scoop out very much, then I replace it and then wait, um, even though it's very diluted, I still wait a day or two before I use out of that bucket again. These bottles down here, have distilled water in them so if I don't have any um, you know dechlorinated tap water ready when I need to make a um, water change then I can use those instead okay let's put some water back in the habitat. Friedrich says he uses like two inches. I think Lydia said she, uh, or Linda used, said that she used like a half an inch. I'm just gonna go up. I'll fill this little hot tub for him. That is, I estimate, just a little over an inch of water. I'll bring up, up a little more. And I'm going to call that good. It's all, um, you know, a big experiment. Next time I may uh, use more or less. 
So let's reintroduce Group B into their cleaned up habitat. Oh, one thing I like about this little uh, temporary enclosure, it's got this so I can pour off the water. It's got little holes there to, so the wheat leeches can't get out. Well, I'll pour the water through the um, sieve just in case. Okay, guys. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. A leech slalom. Yeah, yeah. Somebody's already <laughs> working to get past the barrier to get back where the rocks were, but they will have a whole different thing to deal with. These guys are just checking it out. I was hoping one of them would go in the hot tub while I was camming. I know it was so, I think their coloration is just so beautiful. Right, green and orange. And their movements are mesmerizing. Yeah, you don't want to go up there, dude. You don't want to go up there. No, no. I like to put the uh, A marking on the side opposite of the nest, the moss, because I usually put the moss end deeper under the, uh, the cabinet. So it stays in the dark the most. <sighs> Let's see. What do you got going on here? I did get the snail out of there, didn't I? So this is Group B's habitat. I took out uh, a lot of the moss that was in the water last time I changed it. Uh, there's seven leeches in here and it looks like they are all for the most part hiding well, we got two, three, four. So, four there, and then probably a bunch back in here a ways. This is like a little wetter than I want, but I don't think these ones are big enough to breed yet. So, I don't care. And the water's got a tinge to it, but. Uh, it's not that bad, so I'm going to leave them alone for now. 
From here on, it's just clean up and stuff. 